You are listening to SDO Isabella Radio Based Instruction. Learning never stops in Math Escuela, your school on air. Your partner in achieving fun learning experiences. Let's listen, enjoy, and have fun in learning mathematics. Stay tuned. Good morning, grade 4 pupils. Happy New Year to everyone. Hooray! I'm your teacher for today, Teacher Cheryl Joy Borses Carbonell. How's your Christmas vacation? Did you receive gifts from your Ninong and Binang? Oh! What are these gifts? Is it a toy? A dress? or money if money do you know how to count it oh. will you try to count it very good Hooray! wow I know you have plenty of money today did you know how to add your money children oh. that's good if you receive 50 pesos from your ninang and another 50 pesos from your ninong then how much was your money very good you have 100 pesos what will be the product if your 50 pesos is multiplied by 2 correct the answer is 100 pesos Therefore, 100 is multiple of 50. Today, we are going to get the multiples of a given number. Hooray! There are ways to get the multiples of a given number. One way to get or identify the multiples of a given number is to multiply a given number except 0 by any number. The products of a given number except 0 and any number are multiples of the given number. Following the illustration on page 1 of your learning activity sheet, let us study the table. How many columns are there children? Very good! There are 3 columns. In the first column, we have the given number. In the second column is any number. And in the third column is the product. As you can see in the table, 2 as the given number is multiplied to any number to come up with the product in the third column. What are the numbers in the third column? Right, 2, 4, 6, 14, 20, 50, 120, and so on. Hooray! What do we call these numbers again, children? Very good. These numbers are the products or multiples of 2. The product of 2 and any number except 0 is a multiple of 2. That is one way to get the multiples of a given number. Aww. At this time, I know you have a lot of toys at home. Like my son, Lian. He has toys. If he will skip count his toys by 5 twice, what is the total number of Leon's toys? That's right! Leon has 10 toys! Hooray! Another way to get the multiples of a given number is by skip counting. 
Do you know what is escape counting means, children? Very good! Escape counting means counting forward by numbers other than 1. And to escape count, we keep adding the same number each time to the previous number. For example, our given number is 3. Skip count by 3 and it will give us 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, and so on. What are the multiples of 3? Awesome! The multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, and so on. Can you follow, children? Hooray! Very good! So, what are the ways in getting the multiples of a given number? One way is by multiplying the given number by any number except zero. And the products are multiples of the given number. Hooray! Another way to get the multiples of a given number is through escape counting. I hope you are now ready in our activity. Listen carefully to the direction. Are you ready? Make a table of three columns on your notebook. Are you done? Very good! In the first column, write the phrase, given number. In the second column, write the phrase, any number. And on the third column, write the word product. Under the first column, write number 4. On the second column, write the numbers 1, 5, 7, 4, 9, and 11 downward. I repeat. In the first column, write the phrase given number. In the second column, write the phrase any number. And on the third column, write the word product. Under the first column, write number 4. On the second column, write the numbers 1, 5, 7, 4, 9, and 11 downward. Is that clear? You may proceed. Now, we have our data on the first and second column. To get the answer on the third column, just multiply number 4 to the numbers in the second column. Start it from the top going downward. I will give you one minute to do the activity. Are you done? Let us check your answers. Starting from the top, 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 5 is equal to 20. 4 times 7 is 28. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 9 is equal to 36. And 4 times 11 is 44. Do we have the same answers? Very good! We have 4, 20, 28, 16, 
36 and 44. What do we call these children? That's right! These are called products or multiples. Who got it all? Hooray! Very good! Let's try another activity. Make a table the same with the first activity. Under the first column, write number 5. In the second column, write the numbers 3, 2, 6, 10, 5, and 87 downward. Hooray! Now, we have our data on the first and second column. To get the answer on the third column, just multiply number 5 to the numbers in the second column. Start it from the top, going downward. I will give you one minute to do the activity. Are you done? Almost! Let us check your answers. Starting from the top, 5 times 3 is 15. 5 times 2 is equal to 10. 5 times 6 is 30. 5 times 10 is 50. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 87 is 435. Who got it all? Hooray! Very good! What are our answers? We have 15, 10, 30, 50, 25, and 435. What do we call these children? Correct! These are called products or multiples. Now, let's move on to exercise 2. Here is the direction. Write down the multiples of the given number by using skip counting. In the first column, write the phrase given number. In the second column, write skip counting. And in the third column, write the word multiples. Are you done? Almost! Under the first column, write the numbers downward. Here are the numbers. 4, 5, 8, 9, 10, and 12. I will give you one minute to do the activity. Are you done? Almost! Let us answer. Start with the first number, which is 4. So, skip count by 4. So, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, and so on. Then, we have 5. Skip count by 5 will give us 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and so on. Hooray! Next number is 8. So, 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, and so on. Hooray! The number is 9. We have 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, and so on. Hooray! Next number is 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and so on. Hooray! Last number is 12. 
So we have 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, and so on. Hooray! Do we have the same answer? Oh! Very good! Now, let's proceed to the third column, which is the multiples. What to do with this is just copy the multiples of the given number in the second column. Are you done? Oh! Wow! Now, write multiples of 4. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, and so on. Next are the multiples of 5. These are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and so on. Next are the multiples of 8. These are 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, and so on. Then the multiples of 9. These are 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, and so on. Then the multiples of 10 are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and so on. And the last given number is 12. The multiples of 12 are 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, and so on. Who got it all? Hooray! Very good! I hope you learned a lot with our today's lesson. My dear pupils, I know you listened attentively. What are the ways in getting the multiples of given number? Very good! There are two ways in getting the multiples of a given number. The first one is by multiplying the given number to any number except 0. The product of a given number multiplied to any number except 0 is a multiple of a given number. Another way to get the multiple of a given number is through skip counting. I hope you can apply this to our next activity. So bring out your paper and let us have a short quiz. In the first column, write a given number. In the second column, write any number. And on the third column, Write the word multiples. Are you ready? Oh! Number 1. In the first column, write number 7. In the second column, write the numbers downward. The numbers are 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. That is for number 1. Let us move to number 2. In the first column, write number 15. In the second column, write the following numbers downward. Here are the numbers 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. For number 3, write number 20 in the first column. In the second column, write 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay, you may start now. I will give you one minute to do it. Are you done? Oh! Very good. Let us check your answers. For number 1, we have the given number 7. If you multiply 7 to number 4, number 6, number 8, number 10, and number 12, you will get the answer 28, 56, 70, and 84. The multiples of 7 are 28, 42, 56, 70, and 84. Who got it right? 
Very good! Number 2 15 multiplied to number 2 Number 3 Number 4 Number 5 And number 6 Our answers are 30 45 60 75 And 90 These are the multiples of 15 Check your answers the last but not the least, we have number 3. The given number is 20. So, if we multiply 20 to number 1, number 2, number 3, number 4, and number 5, the answers will be 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100. These are the multiples of 20. Who got the correct answers? Hooray! Very good! I hope you learned something new today in mathematics. If you have some questions, just feel free to contact your teacher. To our scriptwriter, Sir Libertado P. Carbonell Jr., thank you very much. In the name of RBI Production Team, I am your teacher, Mom Cheryl Joy Borses Carbonell, saying, Every day is a new learning day. Thank you very much and Mabuhay! Patuloy, patuloy ang edukasyon para sa ating generasyon. Sa gaan ng pagkatuto ay walang may iwan. Kaya halina sa Radyo, Radyo, Radyo Eskwela.
Taho! Taho kayo dyan! Di makatulog sa gabi sa kaiisip Damdamin ko'y mayroong lungkot hanggang sa panaginip Oh, Berto! Di ka ba nakatulog kagabi? Hindi nga ho, Kuya Pekto Dala ho siguro ng lungkot ng pag-iisa dito sa bahay Di ho kasi makalabas dahil sa COVID-19 Hi! Berto! May tatlong bagay na dapat kang tandaan para maiwasan ng lungkot sa mga ganitong sitwasyon. Una, alamin ang dahilan ng iyong kalungutan. Pangalawa, maaaring ipabatibin iyong nararanasan sa mga taong malalapit sa iyo. Nariyan ang internet para makausap mo sila. At ang pangatlo, ilaan mo ang iyong oras sa mga bagay na ikaw ay magiging abala. Hindi lang pisikal na kalusugan ng mahalaga, Perto, pati pang kaisipan rin. Tatandaan ko yan, Kuya Pekto. Maraming salamat sa payo. Isang paalala mula sa kagawaran ng edukasyon at ng himpilang ito. Gustong pagkain ang ating ihain Ang junk food ay iwasan Nangisip ay magkalaman Kumain ng gulay Nang di ka man lupaypay Uminom rin ng gatas At nang ikaw ay lumakas Sagana at nang ikaw ay sumigla Kumain ng wasto para isip ay maging listo Isang paalala mula sa hinti lang ito Mga tropa, dito sa ilog na lamang natin itapon ang mga basurang ito Total maaano din naman Oops, saan nyo yan itatapon mga bata? Itatapon namin sa ilog, tita Nako, mali ang kaisipang iyan Ito ay magdudulot ng pagkamatay ng mga isda. Gawin na lamang natin ang reduce, reuse at recycle o 3 hours. Ang basura ay ginagawang kapaki-pakinabang at ito ay mabisang paraan para mabawasan ang basura sa kapaligiran. Kaya tara na, mag 3 hours na. Salamat tita! Ngayon alam na namin ang gagawin sa mga basura para makatulong pa sa kalikasan. Isang paalala mula sa kagawaran ng edukasyon at ng himpilang ito. sa edukasyon sa bagong normal. Handang isip, handa bukas. Isang paalala mula sa kagawaran ng edukasyon at nang himpilang ito.